Hello, good people. My name is Sherry Shine. I am the owner and designer for Sharika Originals Handcrafted Gifts, where we create jewelry for those who are deliberately different. We also create YouTube tutorials to bring out your creative genius. I'm going to demonstrate how I attach uh, denim fabric to leather and then cut it um, with my shape templates. I have some uh, acrylic shape templates that I I uh, make for earrings that are available for purchase um, and they just make um, making your shapes much easier especially if you're not um, if you're not uh, great with uh, cutting out stuff uh, it just really it really helps you to make your shapes uh, sharp so I'm gonna show you what I have let's see I have I have my denim I've just cut a little little piece off I have my leather in fact when you purchase the shape templates i send a piece of this leather along with it just to give you something to work on in case you don't have have to work and the shape i use the shape templates with uh, leather and fabric just to make it easier for people who don't have a glow forge laser i have a uh, glow forge that i just really love but um i know everybody doesn't have that and lots of people make jewelry. I made lots of jewelry even be before I have the glow for it. So love that machine. I realized that lots of people who, who have subscribed don't have a machine, but do love making jewelry. So I just like to offer uh, alternatives. This is this is the rose gold leather that I'm gonna attach the um, the denim to. Now what I what I use to attach the denim is Mod Podge. I use either Mod Podge or I use um, regular white glue. If either one, whatever whatever you have, will work. Um, I get my little sponges from the Dollar Tree, you know, to just use them one time and throw them away. I've got a um, pen so that I can use my shape template. So I have my fabric here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Mod Podge on my, on my, uh, my leather. So I just put a generous amount, uh -oh, I should have, I should have poured the, poured the, the Mod Podge in a little container, it's easier for me to use it, but that's all I need. So, I get my large podge on my sponge, and then I'm just going to, oh, I'm going to need a lot more large podge than this, I can tell. This, this leather really, really soaks it up, so you have to really get, get a good amount of either the large podge or the, the um, glue. Especially when you're using a material that's thick like denim, because both both of the materials are gonna really, really soak up your soak up your, and I still need more. Okay, I might have to open up that my jar and pour some on there. I'm just going to pour it on there. Okay. That ought to do. Yeah, I like to be able to spread it. Hey, who's here? Where are you from? Are you a subscriber or are you new to the channel? If you're new to the channel, I can tell you a little bit about what we do here. Okay. All right. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay. So now that I've got, I've got a liberal, like, you know, I think I'm going to spread a little bit. I'm going to spread a little bit on my fabric too, because I have a lot uh, of Mod Podge left in this brush. So we may as well not waste it. So I'll just so spread that on there. 
Now, if I have the Mod Podge on my, the wrong side of my leather, I will go ahead and squeegee it together. Do it like this. Okay, so I have the wrong sides of both materials together. The wrong sides together. Just like when you're sewing. <clears throat> so I'm going to really, really press this down. And on this, on my fabric side, I'm going to squeegee it down really good and then I'm going to go over it with the rest of the Mod Posh that's in the, that's in the brush. So that way I know that I have the Mod Posh all the way through the leather and I won't have to worry about the leather coming, um, the fabric coming apart from the leather. So. That's what I'm doing. And so I would let this dry and then I would go ahead and cut, cut it using my shape template. But because we don't have time to let this dry, I already have some leather pieces that I've connected. Okay, so this is what we have here. This portion was pre-recorded, so the the denim that I'm using in the next segment is different. Now that my denim is prepared, I'm going to use this stencil. I hand drew this stencil and then I cut it out on my Glowforge using um, paper, uh, cardstock paper. I need my stencil to stick to my fabric, so I'm going to have to use some some spray-on glue, uh, just a light bit of it, to make my stencil uh, adhere to my fabric. I'm going to use gold paint, so I'm gonna get my favorite paint, which is Deco Arts Metallic. I'm using an old credit card to spread the paint on the stencil so it will go through. I'm impatient, so instead of waiting for, for the paint to dry, I use my heat gun to hurry the process along because I just want to see how it turns out. It's not as crisp as I would like it and there are spots that just have too much paint. So I'm going to try spray paint next.
the print the spray paint was more crisp but the it wasn't as bright as the other paint I'm using the side that I spray painted and I'm using my clear shape template to pick out a spot that I want to use that's the great thing about the acrylic shapes being clear you can place them on your fabric wherever you want if you have a particular part of the design that you want to use I'm going to use a gold bead and my 12 gauge wire to finish the earrings. I'm using a leather hole punch to put my holes in for the wire.
here they are, the golden denim being worn by my display model. Um, these wood cut cuts are available in my shop as well as an SVG of this. If you have a, a laser and you want to cut this out, I have a, the uh, SVG in my shop as well. Well, good people, thank you so much for indulging me. Uh, pretty soon, we are going to do a giveaway. We are getting close to 3,500 subscribers, so I'm going to do a giveaway. Probably going to be uh, next week, but I'll talk about that uh, tomorrow. All right, good people, this is Sherry. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, like, share, leave me a comment. I so appreciate your support. This is Sherry saying, as always, be blessed.